good morning so we will do tutorial number 7 now this is on second law of thermodynamics the first problem a carnot engine operates between two reservoirs at temperatures of th kelvin and tc kelvin okay so let us uh, draw this there is a reservoir at th kelvin and uh, another one is at tc kelvin a carnot engine that is reversible engine reversible engine operates between these two the work output of the engine so actually it gets some heat so let us say it is qh and uh, rejects some heat that is qc and uh, does some work that is w now the work output of the engine is 0.6 times the heat rejected so we can say that the work output is 0.6 times the heat rejected is qc so per cycle so let us say qc kilojoules per cycle now given that the difference between the temperature between the difference in temperature between the source and sink that is th source is th high temperature reservoir and the tc is the sink temperature so these are reservoirs basically so reservoirs means the temperature will be constant if you extract heat normally from a finite temperature body that is finite temperature material then the temperature will decrease when you reject heat to a say a metal block okay then the temperature will increase but when they when you say reservoir then the temperatures will not change it has huge mass or thermal capacity or we can say that mc that will be very huge so for example a furnace where continuous burning of a fuel and air takes place the temperature will be always at a very high value say 2500 kelvin something like that similarly the ambient is at say 300 kelvin that will be the reservoir at a lower temperature so the temperature difference between these two reservoirs th minus tc is given as 200 degree centigrade so calculate the source temperature th sink temperature and the thermal efficiency okay and this is a carnot engine so that is the engine is reversible okay then this means the efficiency thermal efficiency can be written as 1 minus qc by qh equal to 1 minus tc by th where both tc and th are in kelvin so this is because the engine is reversible okay now w from the first law first law w sigma w equal to sigma q for the cycle okay because the carnot engine operates in a thermodynamic cycle so what is the w here w is the heat which is developed by the engine that will be equal to net q that is q supplied is positive plus minus q c which is the q rejected so qh minus qc now w is 0.6 times qc which is given in the problem so we can say 1.6 qc equal to qh or q c by qh equal to qc by qh equal to 1 by 1.6 okay now from this basically i can find the thermal efficiency to find the temperatures we can say q h by q c equal to t h by t c for a reversible engine so this is we know this where again we have to stress this the temperature should be in kelvin 
or else it will not it is not correct okay so temperature should be in kelvin so in this case you can say t c by t h equal to 1 by 1.6 do you understand then this is one equation second equation is already given that is t h minus t c equal to 200 So combining these two, I can find Th as five thirty-three point three three Kelvin, and uh, Tc as three thirty-three point three three Kelvin. So using these two equations, so using equations one and two, we can get Th and Tc values. Now, what is thermal efficiency? Will be equal to one minus three thirty three point three three divided by five thirty three point three three equal to zero point three seven five. So that is the current efficiency. So a simple problem. There are important concepts here. First one is the first law: sigma W equal to sigma Q. So that will give you this relationship. Then For the reversible engine, I can write the ratio of heat transfers to equal to the a ratio of the temperatures, corresponding temperatures of the um, the like reservoirs where the heat is exchanged. But this temperature should be in Kelvin. Okay, so that is this first problem. Second problem: the heat engine. Is used to drive a heat pump. So let us draw a heat engine and a heat pump, HP. A heat engine is used to drive a heat pump. That means the work done by the heat engine is supplied to the heat pump. That is called driving it. Okay. So, like for example, turbine drives a compressor. The heat transfers from the heat engine and from the Heat pump, okay, from the heat engine. So, for example, heat rejected by the heat engine. I will say Q C E. Similarly, the heat rejected by the heat pump that will be Q. I will say P H. Pump is I will say P and H is the heat rejected because this when the heat is rejected by the pump, this should be rejected to a higher temperature reservoir. So, these two are The, these two heat transfers are used to heat water circulating through radiators of the building. So I will say radiators, radiator of the building. Okay. Now the efficiency of the heating that means I have one reservoir at say T H and one cold temperature space from which heat engine takes heat. I will say heat pump takes the heat. So I'll say Q P C, and this I will say Q H engine. That is Q H is taken by the engine. Q P P is the pump which takes the heat. Q P C. So some uh, nomenclature we should give. Now efficiency of the engine is given as zero point two nine, a twenty nine percentage, and uh, C O P of the pump. Heat pump, heat pump is given as three point five. Evaluate the ratio of heat transfer to the radiator water to the heat transfer to the engine. That is what ratio I want. Ratio of heat transfer to the radiator. That is Q C E plus Q P H. Okay, divided by this is required ratio. Required ratio will be equal to this divided by the heat transfer to the heat engine. Heat engine that is Q H E. That is what I want. Do you understand? So this problem. Let us do this. So apply the first law to the engine. Sigma. Q equal to sigma W, so we can say Q H engine minus Q C engine equal to W. Uh, 
okay now w for the pump okay for the pump i can say minus w equal to because pump receives the work so heat added is q p c minus q p h okay so or you can say q p h minus q p c equal to w so these are equal these two are equal okay so now efficiency of the engine equal to 1 minus q c e divided by q h e equal to 0.29 given so that implies q c e my divided by q h e equal to 1 minus 0.29 equal to 0.71 so this is equation 3 do you understand similarly please understand that the engine or the heat pump need not be reversible because nowhere in the problem it is given that they are reversible correct it is say it is given that a heat engine a heat engine and a heat pump that's it so that means we should not use the temperature ratio here obviously the temperature ratio also is not cannot be used because it's not given then cop of the heat pump by definition will be what for the heat pump the objective heat transfer is the heat which is rejected by the heat pump so q ph divided by for the heat or energy transfer which costs is w so that will be the this so we can write this as q ph divided by w i can write q here h e minus q c e but this is given as 3.5 so that means i can say this is say equation 4 okay now there are four equations what we require is this ratio okay so i'll try to solve this now we can say that from cop of heat pump which is equal to we can write this as qh q ph divided by q h again i'll say or in the terms of this itself we'll write first because i can uh, eliminate ph now so divided by qc qc is uh, sorry q pc okay that also you can write so from this i can write as 1 minus sorry 1 divided by so divide this so 1 minus q pc by q ph so this is equal to 3.5 that means 1 minus q p c divided by q p h will be equal to 1 by 3.5 or i can say q p c divided by q p h will be equal to 0.7143 i can now eliminate this i want q p c so i can write q p h in terms of q so this implies q p h can be written as q p c divided by 0.7143 okay so this is the this is the relationship between these two heat transfers related to the pump now the required ratio first of all i have to find the q ratio between the q p h and q h e so we can combine this basically so 0.29 q h that is q h e equal to that is the work correct 
see this is thermal efficiency into work so the work now i connect this to work equal to 0.29 thermal efficiency into the heat re received by the engine that will be equal to q p h minus q p c okay now this means this implies q 0.29 q h e divided by q p h sorry uh, yeah p h equal to 1 minus q p c divided by q p h correct so that so this is i am just taking this to the left hand side and uh, dividing both side by q p h so now this from this i get the relationship between q p h divided by q h e equal to 1.015 so that means the required ratio will be what required ratio is required ratio equal to q p h plus q h c divided by q h e so that means it will be equal to 1 point because this the first ratio 1.015 plus second ratio is q h h c by q h e correct that will be what that is 0.71 that is 1 minus thermal efficiency so the required ratio will be 1.725 so this problem we can see that the, there are two engine which are not actually reversible we want to calculate but the rejected heat from both heat engine and heat pump are given to radiator so that total heat divided by the heat received by the engine that is basically is asked so this is the procedure so here first law is applied then definitions for efficiency and cop are applied since these values are given and we have got the connecting the heat transfer between the engine and the pump we have got the answer third one A reversible engine operates between two systems at constant temperatures of 800 degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade. So constant temperatures. A reversible heat engine is also given. So what is the first one? 800 degrees centigrade. So I will say 800 plus 273. So 800 plus 273 because writing in Kelvin is important. So this is in Kelvin and. Uh, This is forty plus two seventy three. That is three hundred and thirteen. A reversible heat engine acts uh, is you like runs between these two. So receiving some heat and rejecting some heat. Now it also does some work. The engine drives a reversible refrigerator, which operates between systems at constant temperature of forty degrees. So. Forty degrees is three hundred thirteen Kelvin, so there is a reversible refrigerator. So let's say R, and so this takes refrigerator actually takes some, say let's say Q C R. Here it is Q C E. This is Q H E and W. So this is this is running this. Now in this case. Unlike the previous case, both are given as reversible, reversible heat engine and reversible. And now it rejects to forty degrees. Sorry, this is actually forty degrees, so it should reject here. It should reject here Q R H, and this is five degrees. That is two hundred and seventy-eight Kelvin. Now it receives heat here Q R C. And uh, this is the W which is given here. But not all the work is given, so that's what is given here. See, the heat transferred to the engine, this value is given as two thousand five hundred kilowatts, and thirty percent of the work output of the engine is supplied to the refrigerator. So that means I can say here point three W, and point seven W comes out of the engine. 
for some other purpose. Only 30 percent is supplied to the refrigerator here. So that you have to understand. If the heat transfer from the refrigerator is used to heat water in the radiator, heat transfer from the refrigerator that is this heat transfer from the refrigerator is Q R H is used to heat water in the radiator. Evaluate the flow rate of radiator water. So that means here there is a radiator connected. What is the flow rate of radiator water if the temperature of the radiator water increases only by 20 degrees and specific heat of the water is 4.2 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. Neglect like the kinetic percentage changes. So this is this. Uh, scenario which is depicted in this figure here. Okay, now both are and uh, both are reversible. Engine and refrigerator, refrigerator are reversible, and uh, it is given one one data is given the heat transfer to the engine. <coughs> heat transfer to the engine is given. Okay, so Q H E equal to two thousand five hundred kilowatts, or you can say kilojoule per cycle. Also, now this now efficiency of the engine will be equal to because of the engine is reversible engine. The efficiency can be written as one minus T C by T H, which is equal to one minus three hundred and thirteen divided by thousand seventy three. Note that the temperature should be even though temperatures are given in degree centigrade, we have to first convert into Kelvin. So, what is thermal efficiency? Thermal efficiency will be equal to 0.7083. Okay. Now, from this, I can from find the work developed by the engine. That is, total work developed by the engine is what that will be efficiency of the engine into the heat received by the engine. So, this will be equal to 0.7083 into 2500. Which is equal to one seven seven zero point seven three six kilowatts. Now thirty percent of this is given to the refrigerator. So what is the work received by the refrigerator? That will be point three times W E, which is equal to point three into one seven seven zero point seven three six, which is equal to five hundred and thirty one point two two kilowatts. So now we have found the Heat received by the refrigerator, that is work received by the refrigerator, because that is thirty percent of the work developed by the engine. And work developed by the engine can be found by the efficiency of the engine, which is calculated by using temperature ratios, because the engine is given to be refrigerator reversible engine. So reversible engine efficiency is point seven zero eight three. The heat received is given as two thousand five hundred. So we can find the work. Developed by the engine, thirty percent of the work is given to the refrigerator. That is this value. Now, I can find the COP of the refrigerator. What is that? That will be refrigerator. So that is Q. Go to the diagram. The heat objective energy transfer for the refrigerator is the heat which it receives from the cold space. That is Q or C. So Q R C divided by W R. Okay, now W R can be written as what Q R C divided by W R can be written as Q Q R H minus Q R C Q R H minus Q R C. Okay, now this can be written as one divided by Q R H divided by Q R C minus one. Now, refrigerator is is reversible. So, which implies Q R H divided by Q R C. The ratio of the heat transfers can be written as the ratio of the temperatures. That is, Q R C receives is received by the uh, refrigerator. From a space 
which is at 278 Kelvin. Similarly, QRH is rejected by the refrigerator to a reservoir at 313 Kelvin. So, 278. So, this is 313 divided by 278. So, that means I can substitute and get the value of COP of the refrigerator as 1 divided by 313 divided by 278 minus 1. So, what that will be equal to 7.943. Okay. So, now I know WR. Correct. So, from this uh, equation, I can say COP, COP of the refrigerator equal to 7.943, which is equal to QRC divided by WR. WR is 533.22. Okay, that is what we have calculated here 531.22. 1.22, which implies QRC will be now equal to 7.943 into 531.22, which is equal to 4219.487 kilowatts. So that is done. And now apply the first law QH QRH. QRH minus QRC equal to WR. That is the first law. So, from this I can find QRH equal to WR plus QRC which is equal to 531.22 plus 4219.487 which is equal to 4750.707. Seven kilowatts. So this is the heat which is rejected by this and uh, by this refrigerator. And uh, this heat transfer from the refrigerator is used to heat water in the radiator. So that means four seven five zero point seven zero seven. That is Q or H will be equal to m dot of water in the radiator Cp of water into delta T. So now delta T is given as 20 degree centigrade, Cp is given as 4.2 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So I want to find this. So this implies the water flow rate to maintain the temperature rise within 20 degrees or at 20 degrees will be equal to 4750.707 divided by Cp is 4.2. So this is in kilowatts. So 4.2 kilojoules per kg you can use into 20 you can find write this. So now that will be the mass flow rate of water. When you substitute it you will get 556.556 kg per second. That is the flow rate of water in the radiator in order to maintain the delta T at 20 degrees. So this is the problem where the engine reversible both are reversible engine and refrigerator are reversible engine drives the reversible refrigerator by supplying 30 percent of the work it has developed and uh, all the reservoir temperatures are given from which it was easy to find the efficiency and cop okay so from that by reference we have find the found the other energy transfers